pair with undefeated Callum Walsh on November 9th makes his New York City debut, takes on Ishmael Villarreal at the Theater Madison Square Garden. We're uh, a little bit more than a month out. Uh, how you feel? Yeah, I feel very good. You know, I feel I feel ready. You know, since my last fight, I haven't stopped training. So if this fight was tomorrow, I'm ready. And and in five, six weeks, you know, I'll be more than ready. And uh, I'm I'm ready to make a big statement out here in New York. I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, we know the fights going on UFC Fight Pass. It's a big week for UFC in New York. I believe they have a, they have a big show a couple nights later. And uh, you're here to kick off the festivities. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I feel like I'm warming up. I'm warming up New York for the, for the UFC and. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to that, that UFC show. You know, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there to, to support. You know, I know a few people that are fighting on that show, and I, and I can't wait. You know, I'm nearly I'm nearly more excited for that fight now than I am for mine. You're not going to call John Jones though if he if both you and him win though. <laughs> he's he's a bit big for me now, so I'm already. To talk about this New York, uh, the great Irish community. A lot of great Irish fighters. I just saw John Duddy, who used to bring such a big crowd to his fights. Uh, is that kind of like maybe a little bit of a blueprint, maybe to kind of uh, pray, uh, not pray, that's the wrong word, but, but kind of uh, absorb some of the great Irish boxing fans here in the greater New York area? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's a big part of me coming to New York. You know, I'm, I'm a young Irish fighter, and there's a lot of Irish support out here, you know, a lot of Irish people. And I feel like this is just the beginning. You know, I'm very grateful that I can fight at MSG at such a young age. And the fact that I am so young, I feel like this is the, the beginning of a great career for me out here in New York. Your promoter, Tom Loeffler, does have a big stable, but when he works with someone, he usually takes a, a very one-on-one uh, -on -one approach. I mean, the blueprint was set with Gennady Golovkin. Is, is that something you guys have talked about, kind of like maybe a, a blueprint kind of like that, maybe uh, establish yourself on both coasts? I know you've been fighting a lot out on the West Coast. Now uh, you're going to try your hand at the East Coast. Yeah, you know, I, Tom. Tom knows what he's doing. You know, Tom has been around for a while. Tom. Tom knows what he's doing, so I trust him. And uh, I feel like we are going to fight out here a lot. You know, I want. That's what I want to do. You know, I want to fight out here in New York a lot. I want to fight on this side and, and, and fight back on the other side, and, and eventually, eventually get back to Ireland for a fight. I know you're not looking past Villarreal. What's he bring to the table? Yeah, no, every fighter brings the same thing. You know, it's 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 anything is possible. You're in a fight. It's two men fighting. You know, so I never underestimate any opponent, and uh, I'm looking forward to a good fight. You feel any pressure? Um, you got Dana White in your corner. Dana White, you know, he's kind of like circled you as, uh, you know, his boxer uh, to look out for. Uh, what, what, what are those conversations like? Yeah, I don't, know. I, I don't feel any pressure. You know, I feel like I'm, this is what I'm destined to do. This is why I'm here. Dana White, is, Dana White doesn't just take a liking to anybody. You know, you have to prove yourself, and I feel like I have. You know, I'm taking t taking good fights. I'm bringing that UFC mindset. I'm fighting anybody anywhere, and. Uh, and, you know, I am. I am Dana's boxer, you know. That's the what do you want to say to the fans in closing before we see you November 9th at Theater Mass at Square Garden live on UFC Fight Pass? I just want to say, I just want to thank everybody for the support. I want to thank New York for having me here. And, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the fight. And it's going to be a good one. So don't miss it. Make sure you tune in live on UFC Fight Pass. Thank you. And we wish you best luck. We'll see you November 9th. Thank you.